With over 80% of the search market share, Google is undoubtedly the most popular search engine used worldwide. Additionally, Google captures almost 95% of mobile traffic. So when you or anyone around the world has a question, their first port of call is Google. In today's video, we'll be answering the most asked quantity surveying questions on Google. This video is inspired by a great friend of this channel, Nintendo Molloy. Be sure to check out her original video in the description below. We've used the prompt, do quantity surveyors, and pick the top four questions. So let's get into it. Do quantity surveyors make good money? Quantity surveyors can indeed make good money, but it depends on various factors such as their experience, qualification, location, and the specific industry they work in. In many countries, quantity surveyors are in high demand due to the growth of the construction industry. This demand can lead to competitive salaries and good earning potential. However, it's important to note that salaries can vary significantly depending on factors such as the size and complexity of the projects, the company or the organization they work for, and their level of expertise. Experienced quantity surveyors with advanced qualifications and a solid track record can expect to earn higher salaries. They may also have opportunities for career advancement and bonuses based on performance. On the other hand, entry-level quantity surveyors may start with lower salaries but have the potential to increase their earnings as they gain more experience and expertise. It may be worth researching salary data specific to your location and considering the local market conditions, as these factors can influence the earning potential for quantity surveyors in your area. We have made a video on how much QSs can earn, but this video is a few years old. We'll be providing a 2023 salary video shortly. Do quantity surveyors go on site? Yes. Quantity surveyors often go on site as part of their job responsibility. While their work primarily involves managing costs and finances, visiting construction sites is crucial for accurate assessment and monitoring. Here are some key reasons why quantity surveyors go on site. Number one, measurement and verification. Quantity surveyors need to take accurate measurements and verify the quantities of materials used on site. This information is crucial for preparing bill of quantities, cost estimates, and ensuring the construction progress aligns with the plans. Number two, cost monitoring. On-site visits allow quantity surveyors to monitor the progress of construction work and assess its impact on costs. They can identify any deviations from the initial plans, track the use of materials and labor, and compare the actual cost against the estimated cost. Number three, valuation and payment certifications. Quantity surveyors play a role in certifying payments to contractors and suppliers. By visiting the site, they can verify completed works and assess its value, ensuring that payments are accurate and fair. Number four, problem identification and resolution. Being on site allows quantity surveyors to identify potential issues or discrepancies that may impact costs or timelines. They can collaborate with project teams to find cost-effective solutions, negotiate variations or changes, and manage any contractual or financial implications. And finally, number five, client communication. Quantity surveyors need to communicate with clients, architects, engineers, and other stakeholders regarding project progress, cost implications, and any potential changes. Being on site provides first hand knowledge and facilitates effective communication. Do quantity surveyors get bonuses? Quantity surveyors may be eligible for bonuses, but it ultimately depends on the policies and practices of their employer. Bonus structures can vary from one organization to another and may be influenced by factors such as company performance, individual performance, and project success. Here are some common scenarios where quantity surveyors might receive a bonus. Please note that bonuses are more likely if you're a senior QS compared to, say, an assistant QS. Number one, performance-based bonuses. Some companies have performance-based bonus systems in place. Quantity surveyors who consistently meet or exceed their targets demonstrate exceptional skills or contribute significantly to the success of projects may be rewarded with performance-based bonuses. Project-based bonuses. In some cases, quantity surveyors may receive bonuses tied to the specific project. If a project achieves its goals, stays within budget, or realizes cost savings, the QS may be eligible for a bonus as recognition of their contribution to the project's success. Company profit sharing. Some organizations have profit sharing programs where employees, including QSs, receive a portion of the company's profits as a bonus. This can be based on individual performance or distributed equally among employees. Finally, retention bonuses. In competitive markets, employers may offer retention bonuses 
to encourage experienced QSs to stay with the company. These bonuses are typically provided as an incentive to retain valuable employees. Do quantity surveyors travel a lot? The amount of travel involved for a quantity surveyor may vary depending on several factors, including the nature of their work, the type of projects they're involved in, and the geographic scope of their responsibilities. Here are some considerations regarding travel for QSs. Number one, project location. If QSs are primarily engaged in local projects, the travel contributions may be limited to commuting to and from the construction site or occasional visits to the nearby project sites. This would generally involve less travel. Number two, national or international projects. QS is working on large scale projects that span across different countries, cities, regions, may need to travel more frequently. They may be required to visit multiple project sites to oversee cost management, conduct assessments, and collaborate with various stakeholders. Number three, regional or global roles. QS is employed by multinational construction firms or consultancy companies may have the opportunity to work on projects in different regions or countries. Such roles can involve more extensive travel as they may need to travel to project sites, meet with clients and work more closely with international teams. Number four, site visits. As mentioned earlier, QSs often need to visit construction sites to gather information, verify quantities and monitor progress. The frequency of site visits will depend on the specific project and its stage of development. It's important to note that while quantity surveyors may travel for work-related purposes, the extent of travel may vary significantly. Some quantity surveyors may have a more office-based role, while others may have a more site-based role. The travel requirements can also change throughout their careers as they take on different projects or roles. It's advisable to research the specific requirements of the position you're considering or discuss travel expectations with potential employers. If you'd like more questions answered, please do comment below. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.